added the North Peninsula Review cover uh, as a JPEG image. And this is for the May 1st, 2023 edition. And see, I gave it that name, North Peninsula Review cover. I'm also going to go over here and hit edit and add the alt text, which is Okay, so we got us in there. And I'm going to hit update on that. So now I put this in at about 800 pixels across, which is plenty big for this. But because we have a short pixel, pixel image optimizer on this website, it will reduce the size of that image and make it upload faster to the web. So in fact, we um, this last image I did a little bit ago, of the city hall is now uh, was 53% condensed. This is already 68% condensed. The newspaper itself was 31% condensed. That's a PDF. It condenses those as well. So I think so keep moving faster on the website instead of getting slow. So let's go back in, and I'm going to copy this URL for the newspaper again. So I go up here to copy URL to clipboard. It's copied. I already gave it a description. Let's go back to the library, and we're going to put this in and replace another image that's on there and upload it and then connect it to the, um, to the home page of the website. So let's go to View Pages and uh, edit this home page. And we have it right here. This is the image that's last month, so last month you've got to have the new one. So hit Replace, Open Media Library, and there it is. And it already has an alt text in there, so I hit select. So now we have a new image, but we have to also change where it connects to. So I'm going to go in here and select that place URL. This is going to connect to that PDF. Okay, so when somebody selects it, the PDF will open. What I also want is to have it open in a new tab. Typically, people like PDFs to open a new tab. They expect them to, and so for this case, I would do that. I hit Apply. So this is going to a PDF, when that, and that's clicked. And here it says Click Image to read PDF. Well, this is last month's PDF on here. So we're going to edit that. And see, it says April. So I'm going to remove it. Go like this, hit Delete, and put in the new URL for this month's newspaper. And again, open a new tab. That's submitted. So now I'm going to hit update on this page. And we're going to go view the page. And there's the home page of the website. We got the latest edition. If I click it, new tab opens up. And give it a moment. There's a new North Peninsula Review. Very nice and click out of that. And I just want to make sure this works as well. Both of them do. Lovely. So now we have one more place we need to put this is the past issues page because um, this is where we put our past issues. So I'm going to go to edit page. And I have this set up in four columns right now. So we have March, April. This will be May. Let's see. And this is a paragraph and this is going to be a paragraph, so I'm going to be May 2023. Actually, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make a paragraph here. So select paragraph. There we go. And I want this centered. So I go up here, text align center, nicely centered. And you know what? I'm going to make this title uh, link also. So I click the link there, I highlight the title, I click this, I put in my new PDF link, and I open a new tab and set it up. So now the next thing I want to do is add an image. So I click this and look for the image block, and I hit the media library, and there's the image. I select it off to the right, and again, I want to make this clickable, so I put this right here, click the view that. Command V, make that open in a new tab, apply, update. 
And now let's view the page. Here's May, March, April, May. There it is. Opens in a new tab very nicely. And here's this one. Again, opens in a new tab very nicely. So that, we have it done. And next month we'll put in June in here in, a, in the fourth column. And then after that we'll, we'll have to add more columns. And that's about it for this.